Greetings from Las Vegas, Nevada here at CES 2019, the biggest consumer electronics show in the world. I'm gonna show you some cool gadgets. Let's start with something that screams CES. What you're looking at is Royals FlexPi. It is a foldable touchscreen tablet. The screen is a special OLED and it still works when it's flexed. You can either use it in tablet mode, obviously, and then when you fold it in half, the apps will orient properly. It's actually on sale right now in China for about 1300 US dollars. What would CES be without dozens of prototype vehicles? This thing is the Mercedes EQ Silver Arrow. It is a totally futuristic concept car. And yes, this sort of cockpit roof goes up and down. It is electric and it is dope. I am standing in front of the Bell Nexus. This thing reminds me of like a final boss from a video game. It is an electric hybrid, six propeller, vertical takeoff, kind of like futuristic helicopter, if you will. And what I've learned is that all of the blades, those gigantic sort of circles you see, will tilt 90 degrees to kind of propel forward. They say they wanna launch by 2020. This is a prototype, non-functional version right now. And they said that there's an Uber partnership in the works. All right, so right now I'm at Intel's booth and they did a collaboration with Nokia Bell Labs to show off kind of the capabilities of 5G and AR. So I have this 3D printed Rubik's Cube in my hands and then on the screen, it shows you the Rubik's Cube as you can see. And uh, it's pretty tough not having the cube in your hand, being able to solve it and like kind of having to look up at the display, but I'm working on it. That's so difficult. <laughs> so behind me is LG's rolling. Like it totally folds and rolls in there. It's called the LG Signature OLED TV R, 65 inch 4K. You're watching it behind me. It is literally rolling and unrolling. Behind me is a 219 inch 6K micro LED display. It is a modular unit, so it's made up of a bunch of panels. There's no bezels and you can kind of go as big or as small as you want. Main Gear, one of the leading custom PC companies out there, brought its brand new Apex Spectrum cooling system to CES 2019. So this computer that you're looking at behind me is a one-of-one -one system. It's called the F131. It has a switch dock built into it, but you'll notice the RGB everywhere. There's RGB inside the liquid cooling block and the tubings themselves. It is beautiful. And not only do they have this F131, there's also the Rush Omega, and you'll notice the cooling block is on the top in this one. And of course, what would CES be without robots? Here at Samsung's booth, they've got a slew of robots. There's three of them. They kind of came out of nowhere, and they're pretty cute. A little bit surprising to see this at CES. This is Waymo. It actually started out as a Google project about a decade ago, spun off, and they actually just launched a fleet of these self-driving taxis in Arizona. So you use an app and just like Uber, car shows up, there is a driver in the driver's seat for now, but this thing is packed with sensors everywhere and it can drive itself. This might be the most impressive thing I've seen on the show floor in my 10 years at CES. It is a full-size yacht. It's like 76 feet long. A company called Furion that makes smart home stuff like smart mirrors and voice control commissioned a yacht by a company called Adonis. I don't know much about yachts. I got to go inside it a couple of days ago. It's impressive. What would CES be without dope smartphones? This is the Huawei Nova Pro. As you can see, it's got an edge-to-edge -edge display and just a hole punch cutout for the camera. And the screen actually extends around the entire thing. It's pretty crazy seeing this thing in person, truly edge to edge, just a tiny bit of bezel on the bottom, and then just the, the camera hole punch out. No notch, but a hole for a camera. Fingerprint scanner on the back, and uh, yeah, headphone jack up there. Is that something people want in 2019? Let me know in the comments. This is the Impossible Foods Impossible Burger 2.0, plant-based, effectively a burger, it's so good. It tastes so much like meat, it's crazy. For real though, whether you're a vegan or you love meat, I bet if I put a blindfold on you, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. At the Qualcomm booth, they're showing off their new mobile processor. 
It's called Snapdragon Wear 2100, and they have this little key card phone thing in this terrible contraption, but this is a Japan exclusive on Docomo. It is an e-ink phone key card little tiny thing called the Card KTI KY01L. Uh, but what you need to know is that this thing is an e-ink touchscreen display. It can't really do that much, and there's a bit of input lag because it is e-ink. You've got a web browser, things like calendar clock, you can make phone calls, you can type, but there's no seemingly QWERTY keyboard on here, so it's kind of like old school T9 type texting. I kind of want one of these things just because of how minimal and just cool it is. I've never seen anything like it, nor did I know it existed. What you're looking at here is the Insta360 Pro 2 and the Insta360 Titan. It can record 8K, 3D, VR, it's got HDR support, it is stabilized, and it's got this special wireless transmitter that you can be pretty far away from this device so that you're not in the shot. The Pro 2 has a price tag of $5,000. And then the Titan, the big brother, costs $15,000. It can shoot 11K, it has eight cameras, micro four third sensors, and it's also got built-in stabilization and the wireless transmitter as well. And fun fact, these are the cameras that Google now uses for street view. Another thing that sort of screams CES, this thing is called the Electrofly. It is a combination of like a drone, but also like an airplane. It's got two propellers, and four sets of those, the wings actuate. The first I've seen that incorporates a jet turbine. So the jet turbine requires gasoline and then powers the propellers. Uh, this version is version 2.0 and they plan on doing testing this year in Utah. And just like that, I'm back in New York. I'll be honest with you, there is so much to see at CES, it's basically impossible to see it all. So what you just watched was kind of my favorite picks, my sort of best of CES. And yes, there were definitely great products that I didn't cover in this video. CES is more or less like the mecca of tech shows. If you ever have the chance to go, definitely go. There's the Las Vegas Convention Center is a million square feet, so it is, uh, it is quite daunting, and again, it is very hard to see it all. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Sam. I make videos about technology. Go ahead and sub to my channel if you liked what you saw, and definitely leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.